Hello YouTube, my name is Cadence Whispers and I am a tarot reader and an empath. I've been doing that for about, well, professionally for about six years now, but I've always had the ability. Um, today, th this is my very first video and I wanted to start by doing a, a reading for the upcoming week, which is the first week of April. And the reason that I decided to start this channel was I feel when you hear someone's voice and you see the card yourself it actually helps to convey the message that you need to hear and I also wanted to show off these new Archangel Power Tarot cards that I have and the reason that I have them is I saw another YouTuber using them and I just felt so drawn to them and I knew that I needed to have them immediately and what I find with these cards is after having, you know, a, a look and a play around with them is that the messages in these cards seem to be a lot stronger and they put, they come forward in a much easier to understand way. And I feel, I feel the fact that you have the archangel power coming through in them, you know, it's a lot more significant because you're really connecting with the universe and to God and to heaven if you believe in that kind of thing. So anyway, what I would like to do is I'll just have a little shuffle of the cards. Um, As I'm filming on my phone, I won't shuffle how I normally will, but what I will do is I'll just mix them here and then I will pull a few cards for the week coming up to see what messages everybody needs to know. So let's have a go. So I would like to know what is coming up in the next week which is the 1st of April to the 7th of April I'm just going to put that one there oh wow okay I'm just going to pull a few more cards here so just put that one there just a few more cards for the week of the 1st to the 7th of April just gonna put these this way with this deck there isn't really any reversals so just put this up right I'll just give you a shot of these cards and I'll just push these in the background so you can see here that we have the Empress the three of Raphael the Eight of Raphael and the Three of Ariel. Now, if you know anything about normal tarot decks, um, this is based on the Major and Minor Arcana. So the Empress is exactly the same, but it has the Archangel Ra Gabriel, sorry, energy attached to it. Now, the Empress is basically all about the divine feminine energy. It's about fertility, conception. So, for example, if you're not planning on conceiving a child, it could just be about conceiving a new idea, giving birth to a new version of yourself, to ideas, creativity. It's also about, you know, pampering yourself, getting in touch with that feminine energy, you know, reminding yourself of the beauty of the world of yourself um just really trying to latch on and remember that um you know and these cards as well they will have an impact throughout the whole month what i will do is if people like this video is that i will do a monthly one as well just to see what comes up with that because i'd be curious to see the links between these cards and the other cards the three of Raphael um, is the three of cups in the standard tarot deck and it's all about celebration, it's about announcements uh, regarding relationships and oh goodness, so this really is all about, it, it's leaning towards someone around you is probably going to announce that they're having a child or they'll conceive a child during this time as well. Um, you know, it can also be about spending time with friends, going out, having fun, you know, just living for the moment kind of thing, remembering what it feels like to be in a group of people and connect to a group of people. 
Now, the next card isn't as happy. The Eight of Raphael, which is also the Eight of Cups in a standard tarot deck. It's about leaving something behind. So, if, for example, it was that you were to conceive a child or something like that, it's about leaving your freedom behind and respect. It could be leaving a job um, because you know, you've given birth to this new idea of what you want to do and what you want to be in your life. So it's leaving that behind. You know, the message here is there is something better waiting for you. So although it does initially seem sad with the realisation, you realise that it is actually for the best that this decision has happened. And I, I do like to read the, the messages on the bottom of these cards as well because they do kind of sum up the meaning of the card, but... There is actually also a lot of other things involved within the cards. So with the Empress, it says, Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxury, Luxurious or abundant resources. So it can also uh, indicate, you know, coming into your power, receiving some money that's been owed to you. And with that, you know, you're able to kind of even have a spa weekend, just a treat, just to kind of get back in touch with yourself uh the three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children so with this it could also be an engagement you know like a a, a hen do or a stag do or something like that um you know it, it could also be marriage the, you know there's there's a lot of different things that could be related with these cards um really in the the vein of this i don't i don't really see the eight of raphael as being that negative because there's all these wonderful things going on around and i think that there may be a moment where you think oh well i might be losing my freedom or you know i'm walking away from a steady job but when you look at the other cards around day you can actually see that it's quite a positive card and it's literally just a glimpse of fear and regret usually with this card. Uh, the last card is the Three of Ariel, which is do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavours, working with others in a cooperative manner. Now, the Ariel card, I believe, is Three of Pentacles in the standard deck. From what I can see here, that judging by the shapes and the wheel I can see in the background, it does look like it is pentacles. So, essentially what it's saying is, although you may have, you may conceive a child, you may start a new venture, you know, um, there'll be celebration. There may be a brief moment of regret and looking back to see if you're missing anything. But it, it's saying, you know, this is going to be something that you love to do and you should focus on doing that because, you know, sometimes in life we don't always get that opportunity to be able to to go ahead and do that, you know. And obviously you've got the angels watching over you here um, in order to help bring these things come about, help these bring these things about sorry i had a brain lapse then um but you know in general it's very positive you know there is always a negative with everything that you do you know i for example i remember when i got pregnant with my son i had very similar reading and you know there wasn't there was an eight of cups in that reading and i was like well why would I be unhappy about that? And looking back, it was because it was the sheer panic, thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to be a good mother? Is it going to affect the relationship with my partner? You know, is it going to affect the relationship I have with my family? So, you know, sometimes we kind of put these thoughts on ourselves to try and rationalise and bring ourselves back down to reality because we don't want to think too much Oh, all these great things are happen, you know. So, you know, I think it's a normal human thing to do to kind of try and be over realistic, so that you don't get too wrapped up in everything that's going on, and you're trying to you try and keep your feet on the ground. 
you know, but the three of pentacles, you know, that is a very grounded card actually, you know, it's just saying, you know, go ahead and do what you love. You know, it, it's a time for great growth, you know, everything's happening around you, you know, you are still very grounded, your head's not up in the clouds, you know, you've got everything around you at the moment to be able to support you with this. And like I said, I do feel that these these cards, these energies will start to come through from the 1st to the 7th of April. But I do feel that they will stay throughout the month as well. I do really feel that that energy will stay throughout the month and it is going to lead to better things. Because I know, especially the past couple of years or so, for a lot of people that I know and that I've read for things haven't been great. But just something about this year is a really special year and a lot of things are going to happen for a lot of people a lot of positivity moving forward as well which is fantastic um i'm just going to pull one last card just to kind of wrap them up all together to see if there's anything else that we need to know so let's see is there anything else we need to know for the coming week can you give us some guidance and help here please of Michael okay this one's a bit odd compared to the other cards the five of Michael which is the swords I believe five of swords so I think maybe this is linked to the eight of cups and I think what it's saying is all the negative thoughts and feelings and experiences you've had over the past few months, you need to let go of them because now really is the time for all these amazing, wonderful things to happen. And in order for them to happen, you need to let go of this negativity and this feeling, you know, that everything's going to go wrong all the time. And sometimes people can get attached to that because it's something that they're used to and they don't accept happiness. So it's basically saying, let go, cut all the crap, you know, let go of all the unhappiness and negativity and just accept the wonderful things that are coming in because they really are going to come in. <laughs> so, just to wrap up. So, there seems to be a lot around fertility, creativity, conception here. Maybe not necessarily of a child, although in some cases it will be, but also of a new idea, a birth of a new you, a new venture, a new job that kind of thing you know and then you'll be telling people and they'll be sharing in your happiness and joy you know remembering those relationships enjoying those relationships the eight of cups you know is that moment of fear of oh you know well should I you know is this going to be okay you know is this situation going to be right for me and it's just saying these things are coming forward are better for you so just let go of everything else in the past it doesn't even matter anymore which is kind of topped up with the five of my cold card because it's saying just let go cut all the rubbish from the past just let go of that negativity and just let these things come forward and the three of pentacles is reminding you you are grounded but all these things are coming into fruition so just enjoy it <laughs> that's basically what the reading is saying for the next week if you like this video, if you're interested to know what kind of readings that I do, if, you, if you've if you got any requests for any videos for me, then please let me know. Subscribe if you want to, drop a like on the video. Thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye.